Hey guys, Scott here with some pretty good news. Turns out that Bubba is in fact not leaving Dead by Daylight and the leaks that were claiming this are definitely false. I remember like I was questioning DVD leaks because they didn't actually provide proof. They just said he's 100% leaving guys, that's it. And everyone was like, well, okay, but they're usually pretty accurate. So I guess it's fair that a lot of people just take them at their word. But I was like, well, wh where's the source of this? And the only thing I ever saw was someone linking a screenshot of an alternative name for Bubba's perks, but that has happened with other killers in the past. There have been a lot of licensed killers that have had alternative perk names. Maybe ever since the Stranger Things license, Behavior has now prepared for the scenario of, you know, not having access to the that license anymore, so they have backups for the names of perks. And so someone data mined and found that in the files, despite it not being needed yet, and then just drew a conclusion from that. But I don't really think that counts as 100% accurate. So... I want to go a bit deeper into this. What if all of this was orchestrated? Please hold. This looks like a gold rim from PoE, except it's silver. What if Behavior Interactive actually performed a sting operation to catch the person that has been leaking things. This sounds somewhat silly until you kind of connect some dots Pepe Sylvia style. So the first thing was that there was never actually proof that Bubba was going to be leaving. However, the people that leaked it were pretty confident of it. Now, I've had leaked stuff to me in the past before, and the way that I had that information was not from data mining. It was from people who literally went to behavior and saw Pyramid Head and said, hey, the next killer is Pyramid Head. I saw it. <laughs> and so that is a lot more than like, hey, we've got some stuff in the file. So usually leaks are just from people just telling you shit. That's actually kind of what most hacking is in general. It's not like, you know, hacking into the mainframe. It's interactions with people that usually result in most of this stuff. And so it is quite possible that Behavior has intentionally leaked information in various different ways to multiple people they suspect of leaking in their company, and then whichever one comes out on top is the one that's going to be linked to the person that's leaking it. it is a, uh, it's an actual known strat to try to uh, bring to light people that leak stuff. I think it's related to canaries or something. I actually haven't done the complete research on it, but there is a, a word for it. I think it's like the canary trap or something like that. Um, but I think that's possible that that's what's happened because the main leaker on DVD leaks actually said around this time um, he was going to be done doing DVD leaks in general. Um, this, this was before that this came to light. So it's not like he's doing this as a reaction to that. But what if he was? What if the reason that he decided to be done was that his leaker contacted him and said, oh shit, they just found me out. Now I've got nothing to give you. And then he would be like, oh shit, well, I guess I'm done now since I have no more inside source. And then suddenly the pieces fall into place. There's another possibly misleading thing or possibly a joke. Better not be talking about Dwelf. No, Dwelf is super fired. Security's making sure he can't get back into the building. Hmm, interesting. Is that Dwelf? Or is it mysterious behavior employee who was caught leaking and has now been fired? There are a lot of little things that are hinting to this being a possibility. And it all seems too damn obvious. I don't know where I'm going with the rest of this joke. I, we're keeping Bubba, that's cool, I guess.